Muhammad from Pakistan. Sheikh in Pakistan and India, people commonly use this statement, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah for the Shahada. But it was not at the time of Prophet and Bukhari Muslim and I'm a full school of thought, they not used it for Shahada, this statement. So there are two separate places, La ilaha illallah mentioned separately and Muhammad Rasulullah mentioned separately. It is not in sequence order. And the Prophet and <clears throat> the companion, they never ever say this statement. So is, this is not concoction and uh, publication. My friend, this is something that we've tackled number of times here and elsewhere. And this has been circulating by people of ignorance. And they are making it an issue where it's something that's so trivial and so dot, 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 that it's a waste of time. When people say, La ilaha illallah, is this a shahada or not? When people say, Muhammadun Rasulullah, is this a statement? Yes or no? Yes. When you hear the name Muhammad Rasulullah, wouldn't you say, Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Muhammad? Nobody says that when you want to embrace Islam, you say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. You have to say, Ashhadu. I testify. But as dhikr, don't you say, La ilaha illallah? Yes, you do. And the hadith backs it up. Saying Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is mentioned in the Quran as well. Muhammadur Rasulullah. So making an issue and trying to raise this whenever possibility, when a scholar or a student of knowledge or a lecture says, oh, raising the flag, people say Muhammadur Rasulullah, this is wrong. It's not in Bukhari, it's not in Muslim. So who said it was in Bukhari or Muslim? So what, what is it? Oh, it's an innovation. No, it's not innovation, it's kufr. Because you're saying, and people escalate things like this without any justification or logical uh, uh, interpretation to it. So again and again, those people who abide and hold on to this allegation are exactly as intellectual as those who insist that the earth is flat or insist that this uh, thing is true and this thing is wrong without any reason or justification to fight over it or to make it an issue. So to these brothers, I say, have a life, try to get a life you don't have one and move on. Don't look into these nonsense and Allah Azza wa knows best.